Are you ready for an exciting recap of the latest chapter of One Piece? Chapter 1080 scans have been released, bringing fans an unofficial glimpses of what's to come. Fans see the focus shift to Kobe's escape from Hachinosu Island, where new characters and devil fruits are introduced on both the Sword Marines and Blackbeard Pirate side. But that's not all. Fans will also witness a new character joining the battle, leaving fans eagerly speculating about what's next for their favorite characters. Join me as we dive deeper into this latest development of One Piece Chapter 1080. This chapter begins with a reader's request cover page featuring Kawamatsu and Hiyori Kozuki playing with an origami crane. Behind Hiyori, a real crane is also present and partaking in the fun. One of the key plot points in this chapter is Kobe's escape from Hachinosu Island. The pirates on the island discuss the news and the facts that Kobe's escape put him and his bounty up for the grabs. It is revealed that Kobe has the 5-star bounty with the cross guild, making his total bounty of 500 million berries, roughly equal to the official marine bounty Luffy received after the Dressrosa arc. The pirates also emphasize that an average marine captain is only worth a single star, telling us how much powerful and important Kobe is to the marines. The chapter then shifts its focus to the island's Skull Fortress, where we see the introduction of several new characters, including Avalo Pizarro, who is in the control of the fortress. The fortress is seen talking, saying that it feels tickling sensation on the left side of its chest. It explains that this is where unsold slaves are kept, and the suspects that they are escaping as well. Pizarro reveals that they need the runway alive, especially Kobe, and that they need to listen or he will tell Blackbeard. Shiryu, who possesses the clear clear fruit, berates Pizarro for not catching Kobe himself. Pizarro is shown to have eaten the island island fruit which gives him the control over the Skull Fortress, which explains why it was talking. Vasco Short, who also ate the Glug Glug fruit, is also introduced in this chapter. He plans to burn down the town to catch Kobe, which causes Pizarro to lecture him about the potential damage to the town and Blackbeard's wrath. Meanwhile, San Juan Wolf, who possesses the Big Big Fruit, was seen napping nearby, adding interviews to the chapter. Story then continues with a focus on Kobe, who is still running and distracting the pirates to buy time for other slaves to escape. We are taken back to when Kobe was first captured by Blackbeard, who revealed his plan to make Hachinosu a world government affiliated kingdom with himself as a king. Kobe rejected Blackbeard's delusional plans, but Blackbeard kept him alive just to use him as a bargaining chip against the world government. However, Kobe's membership in SWORD, which is a group of marines who have resigned their commission, ruled out the chances of using him as a bargaining chip. Kuzan, as known as Aokiji, shows interest in the sword and explains that it allows them to ignore certain command protocols such as fighting Yonko without authorization. However, the marine can disavow their actions and cut them loose at any point in time. Despite this, Blackbeard remains steadfast in his plans. We then learn that Perona initially freed Kobe, making a deal with him that she would let him out if he freed Gekko Moria. Kobe adds that even if he has teamed up with a pirate, it does not change his duties. Kobe then learns that three marines are attacking the island's port now, but he reminds himself that world government wouldn't send anyone just to save him. Meanwhile, pirates are struggling against the various unnamed sword members, as one of the pirates cuts one down just to realize that it is made of clay. The pirates then see a woman whipping and scolding the buildings before she turns her attention to them and asks them who they are looking at. That woman is then revealed to be not only a marine, but rear admiral Kujaku of SWORD, who also happens to be Tsuru's granddaughter and a tamer woman who ate whip whip fruit. As she deals with the nearby pirates, Kobe has finally surrounded with no means of escape. But suddenly, all of the pirates' guns are shooting flowers instead of bullets, with some among them recognizing the guns as GP flowers. Commander Hibari of SWORD reveals that she used flower bullets to stop the pirates from firing their weapons for a while. She also adds that she is only helping because she was in the area anyway and didn't come here specifically to help Kobe. Fans are then introduced to Prince Gruz, who is revealed to be a clay man who ate squelch squelch fruit. Gruz is responsible for the clay soldiers seen earlier in the issue. It's also shown that Kujaku moved the buildings to force the pirate all into one area as Gruz tells unseen allies to aim right to the middle. But in the next page, the allies are revealed to be Tashigi, Helmepo and 
Garp, who sent Garp's ships flying through the air as if they used coup de burst. The pirates see Garp's ship flying through the air and realizes that they have been trapped and in danger with Garp's arrival. Shiryu and Vasco Shorts are monitoring the situation, realizing that there's no mean of escape for those trapped in the town. Garp then leaps off his ships and seemingly activates Conqueror Zaki and as he does so, he ridicules the pirate for capturing Kobe, calling him the future of the marines and his beloved apprentice as Kobe watches on. And finally, Garp uses a named attack called as Galaxy Feast to attack the town square from the mid-air. Seemingly destroying it with advanced conqueror's haki despite his feast never actually touching anything. With that said, the chapter ends over here. It was really an interesting chapter and also there were many additions of devil fruits and characters into the already vast One Piece world. What are your thoughts about this video? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And that's it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that's it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.